Antan Yeltulian Mildenin, and thank you once again for joining me. My name is Lord Aramil, and today we will be completing the Boulder Tower here, uh, which has so long served as a quick area of respite. And if that doesn't take too long, hopefully we will take care of that other tower uh, that will be on those boulders there in the distance. Uh, now, I am joined today by Ashenran Teru on the server. Uh, we'll see if any of their fun... Uh, we'll see if they manage to make their way in through the editing. Alright, with that in mind, let's get started. You guys have anything you want to say to the audience? I'm alive and well, thank you. Well, that's uh, good. You're gonna hear me scream a lot while I'm off a roof. <laughs> Is that that's all I gotta say. That's not true. That's that's. It's very true. This child does know how to stay on a roof. As a quick aside, I know that it sounds kind of funny when Ashina and Teru talk. Uh, it's because we are using Discord. Here you can see Ashenra building up his manor house inside the castle district. Uh, we're going to work on that. The barracks over there and keep falling off the roof. <laughs> I'm keeping that. I'm absolutely <laughs> keeping that. Okay. I told you, it's a shortcut. <laughs> now, for the tower itself, we're going to be using a lot of stairway blocks once again uh, as we slowly slim down the tower. And here you can see the beginning. It's almost pagoda like uh, having these tiers. Hey, Erno, what's your audience level? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Most of this will be muted uh, because I'll have it sped up to like times three, anyways. Oh, gotcha. Okay. What's your audience level? <clears throat> <clears throat> I mean, I swear from time to time also, so don't worry about it too much. Oh, hey, this is starting to shape up. Oh, I'm a dangerous builder. What do you mean, dangerous builder? I've nearly died many times jumping off my roof. <laughs> Not that kind of dangerous. <laughs> <laughs>
Now, moving up to the top floor, I wanted this to have the sense of crenellations, like what I'm putting down now. Uh, but by and large, this is actually a very decorative design overall. Now, I, I didn't want it to be uh, a very bland military structure. Obviously, it is a tower, and it'll be used for defensive purposes, probably, uh, if need be. But the point is, is that it's also very much on an inner defense, so it, it's supposed to look good as well as be functional. Now here I've got these high oven wall blocks, which will be used as supports. Uh, to pretty good effect. And we'll be using this, uh, what is it, cyan uh, tiling, yes, as a roof. Mainly because I just wanted to use a lot of it, because I think it looks pretty good, pretty high elven. Um, and because Venus gave it to me as a present. So, that's always nice. Now, if this was a more frontline military structure, I would definitely not have included the tiling. I feel like that's a... Uh, it, it's more for an aesthetic appeal, I feel. If we were going for a more militant structure, it would probably remain uh, high elven brick, or maybe some Arnorian brick thrown in there. Now you see me leaving these gaps in here, and that's to add a further piece of decoration. I always like to include things uh, in the corners of the roofs uh, to help break up and add a little bit of variety to the pattern. And in this case, uh, we're using, oh, is it Ed Helvier? Ed Helmier? No, Ed Helvier, yeah. Uh, which is a made-up substance uh, for the mod, but it once again has this really nice light blue glow. And we've used it before, and we will use it again. Um, it's found in most of the elven biomes, so it's easy enough to find, and I think it looks really good, uh, especially as a decorative block. And then we just wrap it up with not quite a full peak because, of course, we are running at more of a rectangle. One of the many challenges involved with building off of a foundation of just a raw boulder. What does Ashina have to say on it? Alright, check it out. Yo! Yo! Think it looks good? <laughs> looks like it's... Eh, 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 eh. Yeah! That's cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Are you going to do another one over there? Um, over there? Try not. Uh, I am going to take that boulder that's next to your house and turn it into... And do what? And turn it into a tower. Hmm. Like I told you I was going to. Oh, well. Can I build it? Can I build that one tower? You want to build that tower? Yeah, that one tower. I guess why not? I know it's it's yours. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's not good. But but it's like if I I I have an idea to incorporate like an Avery into my manor, and I can be in charge of like that. Like, I was going to try to set up, like, an Avery pretty high, like, at the tower. And, like, try to figure out a way to make it look like there's bird cages in there. Alright. You know what? Sounds cool to me. Uh, there are bird cages, actually. So, yeah. I'm going to make a fucking Avery for us. And it'll be this eastern tower. Alright. Sounds good. Yeah, like, I have an entire, like, uh, archway thing right here that I've been trying to use. Okay. So we shall see how it goes. Alright. Basically, just connect the two boulders together in some manner. Connect the what? The two boulders that are there. Oh, connected? Oh, you're giving me so much more room. Yep. Are we putting my? Are you putting a gate here? No. Oh, okay. Oh, I have. I need to finish my manor. My manor's gonna kind of connect into it. I apologize. You're fine. You know what? It should be good. But only the Avery part, not the other part. Okay. And it's going to connect in a sneaky way that it really won't be noticeable. It'll just be through my bedroom. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Lord. <coughs> I hate you. <coughs> you know. <coughs> you. I, I haven't been thinking about coughing, so I haven't been. And then you said cough drops. Oh, this man is looking tasty. Oh, what does that button do? Button has no assignment. <gasps> that button has no assign option. Controls. Uh. After a long night of cleaning up and moving all of my stuff out, boy, I'm a pack rat. Here we return to the boulder. Now, you'll notice that the entrance has been moved to the northern side, aka the inside of the wall now, uh, where it more belongs, I'd say. Oh, everything's gotten shifted around a fair amount and cleared out even more so. But there's still room for two in here to take shifts and do all that good stuff. Let's see. 
quickly making this a small little, I don't know, porch almost. A gently sloping roof. There we go. Perfect. Thought I saw an orc there. Now Running all the way back into the Nardu Hall. Now, oh. <laughs> Ashinra has wandered back online. Now all of my stuff made it into this large storage room. Now, what's really necessary at this point is the bit on the exterior on the second floor, or the first floor if you're in the UK. Either way, not the ground floor. <laughs> and also a little bit of cleaning up this, the literal floor here. Bada bing bada boom. And yeah, we kind of don't need those just sunk into the floor either. Crafting tables off to one side. Here's just a little bit of decoration that I was doing. Perfect. Two chairs next to a table. Marvelous. <laughs> now then, with that bit of decorating done, you can see that I've got a nice wall clock up there. You know, just make sure nobody forgets what time it is. I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning up here on this floor. Nice. Now, for this section, I wanted there to be a significant overhang, you know, protect people from weather, at least the worst of the weather. Direct rain showers and whatnot. So it's perhaps not quite steep enough. Once again, this is a, a climate that will definitely have winter. So I always feel a little bit mm, not quite anxious, but. It's definitely kind of odd when the roofs are relatively flat. Now for the guaith and the rickety stool, this was done on purpose, mainly so that it wouldn't block line of sight with the castle. But for the rest of the builds, the roofs should be pretty well pointed. Here we're just finishing up. Once more using the wall blocks as supporting pillars. And using the stairs as a kind of pseudo crenellation. And spacing out the torches a little bit better. Now 
and decided that I'd use a carved brick as the kind of centerpiece here. And then just a nice little bit of light on the side. And we pretty quickly had our first taste of defending the tower because an invasion popped up immediately. But here we go. And while I might clean up you know, a detail or two, this is basically the finished product. Well, finally, uh, making a trap door so I don't have to worry about falling in, but yeah. see it from both sides yeah. and decided to spruce up the colors a little bit and make this section fit with our overall theme. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this one poor boulder has come so far. <laughs> there we have it. The first tower on Nardu's innermost wall. <sighs> this was a really nice build in a way. Uh, Building a tower off of an existing uh, piece of terrain, uh, like the boulder, is uh, it presents its own challenges and uh, its own unique attributes. And I really like what's happened uh, with this build. Now, of course, there was a lot of time in between uh, takes while I moved everything out from within the boulder home. I promised Ashinra that he could build the tower over by his manor there, which you can now see is largely complete. Uh, it's actually the morning after I started recording, so he stayed up probably an extra hour or two. So he's going to create that tower. So I think what that means for us is that next episode, we will be returning to Nardu Hall and putting on if not the final layer, then almost the final layer. Uh, I'm, I'm ready for the hall to be complete. Uh, after all, I don't have a bedroom yet in my own castle. So, until we meet again, dear friends, thank you and farewell.